BDO Solutions welcomes you to our video series on Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013. In today's video, we will be discussing year-end closing procedures. Completing the year-end closing process in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 involves three steps. Closing the fiscal year using the close year function on the accounting periods window generating a year-end closing entry using the Close Income Statement Batch Job, and posting the year-end closing entry together with the offsetting equity account entries. Closing a year is not required by Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013. However, completing the closing process ensures that balances are displayed only for open years. On the navigation pane, Click the Departments button, click Financial Management, click Periodic Activities, click Fiscal Year, and then select Accounting Periods. In the ribbon, click Close Year. A message appears about the year to be closed. This year is suggested based on the earliest open year and the corresponding check marks in the new fiscal year field. Click Yes to close the year. After running the fiscal year closing process, the closed and date lock fields of all periods in the fiscal year are updated with a check mark that cannot be removed. The period lengths of the closed periods cannot be changed. After a fiscal year is closed, GL entries can still be posted into a closed year. When you post in a closed year, entries are marked as prior year entries. To prevent users from posting entries in a specific period, set the date range in the Allow Posting From and Allow Posting To fields in the General Ledger Setup window. Open the Close Income Statement Batch Job. The Close Income Statement Batch Job transfers the Income Statement Account Balance to a defined account in the Balance Sheet and closes the Income Statement Accounts. The Batch Job also creates lines in a journal that are posted manually. You can use the Close Income Statement Batch Job multiple times to transfer the Income Statement Account Balances. This may be necessary, for example, when subsequent entries are posted in a closed year. The fiscal year ending date is automatically populated with the last date in the latest closed fiscal year. This date is used to determine the posting date for the journal. The general journal template identifies the name of the general journal template that the entries are added in. The General Journal Batch identifies the name of the General Journal Batch that the entries will be added in. The Document Number is automatically populated with the next available number from the Number Series for the selected General Journal Batch. The Retained Earnings account identifies the account that the Retained Earnings entries are added into. The Posting Description specifies the text to accompany the entries. The default text is Close Income Statement. Close By determines how many entries are created by the batch job. The options are Business Unit Code. If this field is selected and the company is a consolidated company, separate entries are created for each business unit. Dimensions. For any dimensions selected, one entry is posted for each dimension value combination used in a GL account. If neither option is used, a single entry is created for each account. Inventory period close indicates that the inventory periods with the ending dates equal to or greater than the last date of the accounting period is closed. The close income statement batch job transfers the closing entries to the specified journal batch. The batch job does not post the entries automatically. 
if an account was not specified in the retained earnings account field in the closed income statement batch job, one or more lines must be inserted into the journal with the retained earnings account and the amount to be posted to the account. When the journal is posted, an entry is posted to each income statement account so that its balance becomes zero. The retained earnings accounts are updated for the gain or loss. The year-end closing process in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 is the final step in the fiscal year. A company must close all income and expense accounts to get final statements and balance for the year. The year-end closing process closes all entries in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 and the close income statement batch job transfers all P&L accounts to the balance account so that the company is ready for the next period. Completing the year-end closing process facilitates data segregation and analysis and simplifies review of posted entries in the chart of accounts because the balances only reflect the current year activity. This ends our video for today. BDO Solutions thanks you for joining us and please check out our website at www.bdosolutions.ca.